Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 43 in chapter 5. In this one, we need to find the central acceleration for the space shuttle uh, around the Earth. First thing that tell you the, see, the distance from the Earth's surface to the shuttle, right? So it is this one. 400 kilometers. Um, so if we consider this shuttle do the circle motion, we need to consider the center of the Earth, right? The radius should be this one. Do you agree? So it should be the radius for the Earth plus the distance 400 kilometers. So this is the point uh, we need to take care. The second one tells you the period for this circle. And the next one, you need to find the central acceleration. So how can we do that? First thing we know the central acceleration is velocity squared divided by r. So can we find the velocity or r? Is there any uh, information we are given? Yes, period. So for period, is the time taking for this uh, shuttle moves one circle. Do you agree? So for one circle, the distance is 2 pi r. See, the t is given. Therefore, you can get velocity. Agree? Because uh, for one circle, it is 2 pi r divided by time taking t. Therefore, we can input the v inside. We find this acceleration is 4 pi squared times r divided by t squared. Now you can see the r is given. It is 400 km plus the radius of the r, this one. Right? So you get the radius uh, uh, r. The next one, t, is given. We need to convert it to unit second. And then we input this known quantities. We can find this uh, central acceleration. And then we need to convert it to in terms of g. g is 9.8 meter per second square. So 1 g is 9.8 meter per second square. Therefore, you get it is just 0.9 g. Thank you.